Giddy up. Here we go. Which city open? 32. Nashua, New Hampshire. We've got Jay Wad, Danny Lobby. They're in the finals. They are competing for a grand prize of $1,200. And more importantly, those ADO, those WDF points. These guys are warming up right now. Oh, no, they're in underway, oh, we're in. buddy. We're underway. We're they playing darts. They surprised me. I was like, oh, crap, these guys if are you, already going. If you thought that last match was fast, <laughs> this one's going to happen before we even know it. Oh, man, I had to quickly uh, get my stuff popped up and readjust everything as we are. They're not waiting. They, yeah. want, they want their hands on the hardware. Well, they know championship time. They know they still have mixed doubles to play, or not mixed doubles, um. doubles to play. And I don't. I imagine these guys haven't even started their first round, as we get a nice 140 pop there from Danny. First 140 of this match. We're gonna look a lot at the triple 20s in this match. These two guys, high scoring. They've made it through hundreds of contestants today to be just down to Whittle to two. Lobby, been to many finals before. Jay Wah, he is Mr. Darts New England, Mr. Darts New York. He'll play darts anywhere. He'll teach kindergartners how to play darts just to play darts <laughs> with somebody. He loves it. He is definitely a guy that loves darts. He's also on the podcast with BDG, that Breakfast Club podcast. So a mention for that one is Lobby takes out 42 into for a 107.36 average to start us off. 14 dart average to get the finals going. <laughs> Cutout Danny loves it. I've never seen Cutout Danny smile so much after that 14 hey. darter. Hey, they put him in prime position there, right in front of the tripod. I love it. I love it. As we'll take a closer look there at the uh, 20. Maybe keep it right here for just a second until we see these guys switch around here. Jay, final New England member, waiting. Danny, coming from out of town, here to get some those crucial points. Um, representing the USA, both of these guys. This has been one great weekend here in New Hampshire. This is run by the Minuteman Dart League. My name is Nick Pratt. I am one of the area coordinators of the North Shore of the world's largest steel tip dart league. Uh, we just eat, sleep, and shoot darts. I think that's <laughs> all we do. Uh, it's incredible the amount of league nights that you guys have. I talked to Jason and Tom and a couple others that are just like, uh, yeah, we're all the time. Oops, that one sucks. Well, these guys will play a league night on Monday for singles and Tuesday for Minuteman yeah. and another league on Wednesday and another league on Thursday. Then you got your luck of the draw Friday. Now you're at these tournaments on the weekends, and before you know it, they're playing professional darts all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Lobby with a big old smile on his face for that one. How about this, folks? One oh, you can see why he's smiling now. He's first to an out against the throw. Whenever I have 220, I always think, ah, oh, 180 leaves 40. <laughs> I think that's what Jay's thinking right now. <laughs> Gotta be. Gotta be. Danny's just behind him having a great time, too. He's just laughing, very relaxed. Yeah, a lot more relaxed in that semifinal match. Let's be honest here. Tension was building. He's going to go four sixteens for 40, just underneath the 20 there. He's going to leave himself 20, but he's going to have three fresh starts at it for sure. It's Jay was stuck at 176. But this is a first to six. We started the day out playing first to three. Then we went first to four in the round of 32, first to five in the semifinals, and this will be the distance, first to six. Danny with a double five, double ten, 16 darts. He goes 14 and 16 to start the finals off. We'll see what he can push his average to in this one. As he's going to be in a little bit more of a, of a rhythm format here as uh, he's got that semifinals under his belt. Got, got a couple stray legs out of the way, and yeah, I think he's going to be firing here. Although Jay's been playing really well as, as well. I wanted to mention yesterday in the uh, mixed doubles, he started off 180, 180, round of nine in cricket. I was like, okay, is Jay going to ever miss this weekend? He certainly knows where the red and the green is. He's been hitting triples all weekend long so far, and he just can't stop now. 
on the biggest match of the day. Fortunately, there's a big 100 right there. But he's against the throw, down 2 nothing, And Danny is just so relaxed right now. Another 100 for him. Cardboard cutout. Danny looks a little nervous a little bit, but he's doing all right. <laughs> David Garfinkel chalking this one. A dirty jersey of dirty jersey darts. DJD. Let's see if Danny can set up his 186 here. He's going to give himself first to an out once again. Yeah, looking to take advantage and hold throw here for a 3-0 lead potentially. And more importantly, he hasn't even given Jay a chance at a double. And when you don't get those chances at those doubles, it starts to become a daunting task. Double seven for the win. Can't quite get double seven. Just a bit outside. Tried to go the bulls out route. Hit that triple on the third. 140 now for Jay. Let's see what we can do. There's one. Ooh, he tried oh. to double double and he goes just outside. He's going to be kicking himself for that one. Went tops, tops. How about the been guts? The only chance he had here. As we got double seven here for Danny to make this a 18 darter. Can't quite find it. Jay Wah finally going to get a chance to hit a double here. First shot at a double for Jay in the finals here. Just a bit high. We're going to go to double four here. Let's take a look. One time for Jay Wah. He does. <laughs> there Great he job goes. for Jay Wah. Double four. I want to know the length of point that Jay has. That may be a question that we ask him later because it looks like a fairly lengthy point. I was starting to notice that a little bit too. It, yeah. was, it was a big, big point. Really, the barrel's so far away from Well, I know he uses it lands. A, a fairly decent sized dart. I believe that his uh, barrel's 50 or 51 millimeters long, I believe. Ooh, Danny, a rare 41 for Danny. And Jay just won the last leg against the throw, and he's trying to build a little momentum here. He's going to find a triple on the third one. Fiery Danny right back, right back, right oh. back. <laughs> 180 from Danny Lauby. Jay Wall with a easy 60 right there. Danny coming off the 180. He is honed in now with another 100. This is the 32nd Witch City Open live from Nashua, New Hampshire. <laughs> Jay Wah, Danny Lobby going for the championship first to six. Danny's going to try and set up the 180. Can't quite find a triple there. He's smiling. He's having a good time. Yeah, he was doing a little hot stepper or something back there. I was like, what are you doing back there, buddy? <laughs> He's having a little dance, having a chuckle, enjoying his finale here. A little frustrated on that five, but got to come together. Just a bit outside on the triple 19. Danny with a 120. Shanghai. He wanted it. Oh, yeah. He wanted it. He's wanting to show us what he's capable of here. You can definitely sense it. Jay Wah with a 148. Does it again. First start just a little loose and ruins the three dart combination that he dreams about when he steps up to the Augie. I want to know. Who is chuckling with Danny over there? Because he is having a ball. It's got to be Bill Murray. <laughs> How about oh, that? another one. A 3-1 lead now for Lauby. And You've seen what it takes to, to win a match like this. Danny's won with 14, 16, and 17 darts now. And he's going to come back firing with a 140. Oh, devastating. That's difficult. Right into the wire, the corner of that wire, and a deadly ricochet. It's tough tough to beat Danny throwing zeros on some of these darts. And another 140 here. 
And it's like I said, the 180s are great, but the 140s can really be crippling to your opponent. Ton there for Waugh. But it's 221 needed for Lobby, and he's got a little uh, opportunity here as he goes 57. No real need to get anything of a significant value. He just leaves a checkout opportunity. First of the checkout is, is always nice. Leaves that 164, but the, how loose he's been and how much he's laughing, I have a feeling he's going to try and take that 164 <laughs> oh, out for the fans. You're dang right he is. Why not? Is he going to go 20s or 19? He's a 20 guy. He's a I 20 think he's going to stay right up there. Getting a little frustrated on these pop-outs. Grabs an 80. 164 here for the man, Danny Lobby. 94. Waz just got to take a deep breath and find a way to get back into this bad boy. You know, suddenly you're down 4-1. It's not so bad when it's first to six, but you've got to start getting some momentum going. If he's going to get his hands on the trophy, Danny can just feel it right now, though. I love how you prematurely said 4-1, too, and he just really took it out right there. <laughs> there he said, I just know he's going to take it out. And just sure know, enough, he you did. just know he's going <laughs> to take it out. And I believe that one was 15 darts, so he's gone 14, 15, 16, 17 on his four winning legs so far. And he set the bar higher and higher every leg. It's just failing Jay right now just a little bit as Danny is putting the foot on the pedal. Jay Wah still working the, the triple 20s. He's not going to waver from it. 85. Danny tr peppering triple 20s for a 140 again. Those 140s are taking its toll on Jay here in the finals. It has been a long afternoon. This day started at 1.30 for these players. Eastern time. We are now 7.30 Eastern time, six hours later. And the first prize here at the 32nd, which city open? Ooh, and Jay, I think, snuck that in there. 135, maybe? I wanted to say here, Kerry asking about, I've never seen Waz darts land like that. Well, we are at a different angle. Normally, we do the, the bottom kind of pointing up at the board where we're over the top. So maybe that's why you're seeing that flight hang a little bit lower than normal. Yes, think of the bird's eye in the football games where the camera's coming down in the middle of the field. We are, exactly. We are right there, hovering around, getting a good look at these darts. Danny, 25. 40 for a 14 darter. <laughs> Unbelievable. Louise. Throwing a, almost a 95 average currently in this one. And he gets these darts out of his hands so quickly. They work fast and they just go exactly where he wants them to go. 96 to get started. Danny can feel the championship coming. Well, there's a reason why he's so quick too. And he's, he holds his dart so loose and just takes nothing just to slang it in there. And he doesn't have a lot of grip on his darts either. So... Just a mention there for that. He's had a great afternoon, and he hopes to continue tonight for the doubles cricket and the luck of the draw. And I think you're back here tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, for some more action. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be here for doubles this evening, but then we'll be back tomorrow for uh, singles cricket. Uh, as well as some mixed doubles, 501, I believe. And then uh, we'll end our day with s men's singles cricket. So. Men's singles cricket. 80 -0 points in that one. So everyone wants to get to the top of the leaderboard before the end of the year. So the schedule is filled this weekend. Luke saying that he's got 45 millimeter points in. That would be... Uh, definitely reason for a hanger on those <laughs> yeah. on those darts. Those are long points. Those are massive points. I think Damon Hedda throws 40, 44 or 41, and those seem long. Oh, Jay get, trying to gain just a little traction. He's got just a little bit of an edge after 12 darts, but he's against the throw. And Danny's going to come up with a 57. Danny trying to close it out to become Witch City Open Champion 2022. And 
It's just a bit outside of that triple 19. Danny's going to look for 137 to try and set up 32. He's not going to get it. But he is going to set up a 111 for Danny. Jay Watt to stay alive in this at 150. Just a bit outside that first start has failed him all afternoon. Not all afternoon, just in this match. He's had a great, great tournament, Jay Watt. But Danny Lobby with the 111 to become which City Open champion. He's going to go triple 17 here, just a bit outside. Stuck on 85 right now. Probably looking triple 15, just a bit outside again. He's going to be left on 70. Jay Watt with a 105. Let's see where he decides. He might start to go on the downstairs on the first start. Looks like a triple 19 just missed. Going to triple 18 here. Just is that in there? I hope so. No, unfortunately it is not for him. And he's going to be stuck on 50, 70. Double tops for the win. And he gets oh. it. Danny Lobby is your Witch City Open champion. Goodness gracious with a quick 70.